What is up, you two? Welcome to the Swamper Zone. My name is Drew, and I'll be the host of today's Battle Zone slash Battle so Spot Challenge, where me and Shane battle head to head to see who is the better Battle Spot competitor. And yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty far. Be well, before I go into that, um, I do we do have our team today is going to be the Charizard, the Charizard X, the Choice Band, and Metagross, the Sashed Zammer. The lefties recovery mummy. I got my uh, seismitoad in here, and I got my E Electra. So I'm go ahead and hit the challenge button while I uh, talk. But I do apologize. It has been a while since I've uploaded a battle spot, or I mean a battle zone video. Um, that is my apologies. Uh, I just I haven't been able to get one out, and you know. And it has also been a while since I've actually, you know, battled on Pokemon, so hopefully we do well in this battle. But, uh, yeah, I, I am Maria or 7-7, seven seven, if I do remember correctly. Uh, <laughs> obviously, a lot, a lot, one time my memory wasn't the greatest, so I wasn't accurately conveying the, the score to you guys. But, yeah, we are 7-7 seven seven this time. Well, uh, communication with the other trainers erupted right as I was getting ready to introduce who they had, even though, um, you could tell. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and hit the challenge button once again. Um, but like I said, uh, I just, I've been busy and I haven't been able to get a video out, but I will be getting a video out tomorrow night, um, me and Shane are going to be hanging, so we'll probably put out another, I'll definitely put out another battle zone, because I have yet to catch up to Shane, um, and then I'll put up a ghost video, because I haven't put one of those out in a while, and maybe a Titanfall video, I don't know if I'll be able to get three up tomorrow, but definitely Titanfall Friday, probably, more than likely, um, and if not Friday, definitely Saturday, but, uh, yeah, so pretty confident about this team, kind of, I'm not really, I'm not really sure what I think about this team, it's just, you know, something I kind of threw together, that's pretty much all I do, so, I mean, I know I'm trying to win here, but I'm not the best battler, I'm just going to put that out there, and, but you know, I do get my wins, I'm 7-7, seven and seven, so I mean, I can't be horrible, so, because I am even. But we are going to verse a Japanese person right now, so that is unfortunate, because we always verse him, always lose. So he's bringing the uh, Espeon, the Tyranitar, the uh, Venusaur, the Azumarill, the Dusknor, and the Landorus. Ugh, this looks like a fun team. Um, do... I don't know what I want to bring out. I mean, Charizard can pretty get pretty much get wrecked by his Azumarill, so I don't really want to bring that. I um, mean, there's not really a point. It can't really do much to his team. So, Electros looks pretty good. It looks pretty solid. I can hit him with the Giga Drain or the Thunderbolt if I need be. It does have the Focus Blast for the Tyranitar. Um, and I forget what the last movie he has is... Um, Seismitoad, so I'm definitely bringing, I want to bring the Electros, um, Metagross, I'm not sure, I mean, could do decent damage, uh, with the Hammer Arm on the Hereditar, but, I mean, I don't know much, I don't think Metagross is going to do much, Alakazam, maybe, um, could do pretty decent damage all around, I'm thinking maybe Alakazam, I don't know. Scythe and Toad is definitely another good option. Um, but I don't think with this team, Scythe and Toad would be best. And Confagoras looks like a pretty good option. So I might be doing, you know, Alakazam, Confagoras, and Electros. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Electros and bring the Confagoras. But uh, I don't know if I should take Metagross or Alakazam. Let me check their moves real quick. You know. It does have the Zen Headbutt and the Earthquake. I'm just going to go with the Alakazam here. Go out on a limb. Hopefully it's a good limb. <laughs> I really do hope it's a good limb because, you know, if it's a bad limb, then I'm going to lose. And we don't want that. We don't want the dot. Oh, I like that. 
blah, 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 is just reading the challenge, and he's got the leaf. Hey, you got some on your hat there, bud. Oh, wait, that's a leaf. It's a decoration. Alright, we're starting out pretty good here. Um, he can't hit me with anything. Maybe he can go for the stone edge, but I don't think he could take me out at this point. Probably could, because I probably underestimate this guy. I could go ahead and go for the superpower here, but he could switch into the dusk. The dusk nor that is pretty obvious at this point. Um, I think I might just want to go for the safe Giga Drain here. Um, I don't really want to overpredict. Oh, but he does stay in. I could have gone for the superpower for the kill. Looks like he is. Uh, no, he's a red card. All right. Um, so I do bring out my Alakazam, and I wonder what he wants to hit me with. Stealth Rock. All right. So, he no longer has his red card on here. I still got my focus sash up, so I might want to just leave him out and go for the, uh... I don't know if I should go for the focus blast here or what. Probably just gonna... Maybe the Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam may hit and it be, you know... Should be enough to take it out. I don't want to take the risk on focus blast missing, so I'm just gonna go for the Dazzling Gleam here. Hopefully it'll take him out. Um, with my spoons when they collapse. It did not. Jeez, the rock tomb is not going to take me out. It's going to be a two-hit kill, but now I'm at my speed. I may not outspeed this thing. I'm just going to have to go for the focus blast here, and hopefully that it hits. And it does, and I could have used it the first time and taken it out, but it's okay. Um, I am going to take the Tyranitar down, and I still have my Alakazam out, which is pretty good. Um... That wasn't a super threat because I could pretty much do anything with any of my guys. But he does have the SB on now. And I do want to stay in and go for the Shadow Ball. Probably not going to outspeed here, but that's okay because Alakazam really can't do anything else uh, to this team. Um, so, definitely Shadow Ball for days. <laughs> so... He does end up outspeeding because of my speed drop. Um, so that is going to be the death of my Alakazam. So we're down 2-2 two to two now. And it's going to get that Buffet, buffet from the Sandstorm. So here, um, I kind of just want to go into my Cofagrius, but he does have to carry the Shadow Ball, so I don't really know. Um... I know he'll outspeed because Kofagris is so slow. I just want to go in to my E Electros and go in the stab Thunderbolt. That's pretty much all I can do at this point. Um, maybe I can go for the Giga Drain, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to go for the stab Thunderbolt here. See how much it does. He does withdraw. We will see who his other guy is and who is it going to be. It is the Venusaur. Good thing I did not go for the Giga Drain there first turn. So this is going to do not much still, but I mean, more than uh, I think the Giga Drain would have done. So I'm just going to go for the Flamethrower here. Um, hope to get as much damage off as possible because my Cofagoras I don't think can do much. Maybe I should have switched into my Cofagoras now that I think about it. Probably should have done that. But that's okay. I already went for the flamethrower. Dang it, I want to take it back. I want to take it back. He is going to get that mega forest evolution up. Not like forest, more like a more like a beach, man. Oh, so you're gonna leech seed me, okay. Glad I didn't switch to my Cofagris then, because that would not have been good. That is going to do zero damage, man. That is just bogus. I'm gonna have this. This is gonna force me to switch out here because I can't touch this thing. I'm gonna have to burn it. Um, my Cofagrius. That's all I really can do. Um, then I can pretty much go for a Psychic on this thing. Um, which is pretty much all I can do. So, although I do, I do. See, this is the prediction I could go for right here. Oh, of course he gets the poison on me. Of course you do. <sighs> so 
I guess my poison just gonna get neutralized by the or my left can get neutralized by the poison. Maybe not. See this is the thing, he probably got bounced back so the will of will bounce right back at me. But I mean now that I'm poisoned I guess it doesn't really matter. But should I go for the psychic here? I think I might just want to go for the psychic here and yeah, he is going to stay and go for the leech seed. Good thing I did not go for the heck, the burn, because I don't know. So we're just going to get the psychic off here. Um, that is still not going to do much at all. But he did get the special D drop, so that is good for me. Any drop in his defense is good, because Venusaur is really bulky, especially Mega Venusaur. Now that I'm seated, I'm going to start losing health really fast. This is unfortunate. This is just a wall, man. This is... This is really... I hate this. I'm just going to have to go ahead and get the Will-O-Wisp off on this. He's going to go for the Giga Drain. It's not going to kill, but... it's going to get HP back. I should have gotten the... I wish I would have gotten the Will-O-Wisp off first turn. You know. It sucks. I'm going to go down here to the Beach Seed and the left... I mean, the leftovers. I'm not going to go down leftovers, man. Maybe it'll take me down because it makes me heavy. But, no, I'm going to go down the Toxic and the Leech Seed because that's just how freaking Mega Venusaur rolls, I guess, with poison. <sighs> so I, I got to, you know, took my ghost hands on the ground so I don't fall, you know, because otherwise it would hurt my coffin body. So now we're gonna go back to the e electrodes. He's just gonna leech seed me here, so pretty much only thing I can go for is, uh, you know, flamethrowers, and that is gonna do squat. He does have the special D drop, and I could hope for a crit, but jeez, I freaking just got walled by a Venusaur. Now I really wish I would have uh, kept my Alakazam in here. This freaking sucks. I just lost because of that. So I am going to take him out here, but I mean, it really doesn't matter because I'll go down a couple turns to leech seed damage and his. Yeah, and he outspeeds anyways. Oh, I survived with one HP, but guess what? It doesn't matter because I'm going to die next turn anyway. So we're going to get the loft here, um, that's going to take us to, what, 7 and 8 now. So we are now on the losing side, I hate this. Pretty sure we've been here before though, so that's okay. We can come back. That's all what it's, it's all about. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into the next battle. Oops, I hit the screen. Alright, uh, we are not seeing that battle video because that was bogus. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump into this next battle here. Oop, 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 I hit the wrong box. This was not be good because I don't have anyone in there. Alright, now let's go. Let's get, 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 Let's go, baby. Let's get this one on one so we can split and we can be even. And we can then go eight and eight. Because that would be really nice. Going eight and eight, baby. Ooh. The Clef Key, the Porygon 2, the Jolteon, the Gyarados, the Scizor, and the Garchomp. Well. This looks like it's going to be a fun battle because he's got two of freaking Stall City people. Porygon 2 and Clef Key. Ugh, so just for those two, I'm... <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean... I'm pretty sure I should bring my Charizard X just because of the Clef Key and the Garchomp and just everything I can hit with my Charizard on this team. Um... I don't think he can't set up rocks on me. It doesn't I mean he can't. <laughs> well, I mean maybe if Clef Key can learn stealth rocks, but I don't think he could. Um So definitely Charizard. Um 
Don't know if I want my Seismitoad. He can do pretty decent damage, kind of. Not really, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking with him. Metagross looks like a good option. I could get, um, you know, the Earthquake could do damage to everything. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe my Seismitoad would be better on that. Yeah, I think my Seismitoad is better in that aspect. Um, let me have a last guy to bring. Electros, Alakazam, or Kufagrigus. Who should I bring? I'm going to go ahead and start out with the Charizard and the Seismitoad. Kufagrigus, Electros, or Alakazam? Kazam. Um, you know, I don't really know. I think I'm just going to go with the Electros in the last second deal. Literally last second. Um, gee, I can't believe I waited that long. So we're going to be facing Cunnan. And yeah, let's see how this goes. We are playing a lady in a bikini top. Alright then. I didn't know I could do that in this game. Go ahead and get my Shana Charizard out. And he is going to bring the Jolteon. He's going to try to jolt me out, but you know what? I am Mega Charizard X, so I'm going to D-dance on you, because you can't do squat to me. So we're going to get that epic flames coming out of the mouth. And we're just going to, you know, sit there and glide, even though we're not electric type anymore. So we're going to get that, uh, well, I mean, let's see who he brings out first, though. Let's see who he brings out, though. Though. So. Who is he bringing out? Porygon 2. This looks like it's going to be foam, baby. He's got that tough claws, but I got tough claws. So you know what? I'm going to get my D-dance up. And he's probably going to try to go for the trick room, but not if I can take you out in one shot. Let's see if we can't do that. That would be nice. We can go for that Flare Blitz, baby. Because that's how we roll. Let's go for the Flare Blitz. Oh, baby. Can you match the power pack taste of this Sunny D? I didn't think so. Even though it's a crit, it'll hit. I don't think it mattered because that was some blitzing moves there. Even though I can only probably... <laughs> I'm only going to be able to do one more, but that's okay. He's going to bring out the Jolteon. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to Dragon Claw you, because Flare Blitz is probably not very effective. I don't know my typing very well, so I'm probably dumb. But I don't want to die here. And I don't think the Volt Switch would take me out anyways. And he is going to die to two crits in a row. Get on. Uh, uh. That's right, because you know what? Last battle, you owe me, because I just lost. Now I have to win. And he is going to go down to a third, to a f another Flare Blitz, even though I'm going to take myself down. It is a Charizard X sweeping kind of day, man. That is what I'm talking about. He could go try to go for the pair hacks. Oh, he gets a sub off. Oh, good for you, because you know what? It don't matter, because you still going to get swept by this Flare Blitz. Oh, I might die. That's a good point. I didn't think about that. I hope I don't die. Another critical... Dude, how did I get three crits in a row? Is that even possible? Holy freaking crap. He's probably just going to go for another substitute. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go for a Thunder Punch here. Just because I don't want to die to... Um, I'm just going to let him sub down his health. Um, I'm going to play it safe here and go for the Thunder Punch. Just to break the sub. Um, and... Because I... I don't want to flare blitz myself to death. Um, he's probably going to go for another uh, substitute, I would guess. Swagga. I avoid the attack, and I get in the thunder a punch. And that's still going to take him out. Another crit, dude. What the heck? That was literally four crits in one battle. Is that even possible? I don't know, but I did it, so... We are now 1-1, one one, so we're back at 8-8, eight and eight, so uh, I will catch you guys next time on our next video, and until then, peace out.